soon as we do, we'll be sure to keep you updated. Tanya. All right. Thanks so much, Jake Rowell, reporting for us. And as he mentioned, folks, roads are, are shut down in that area. So be aware that you're not going to be able to travel easily in that Rookwood Commons, Oakley Hyde Park area. All right. Thank you, Jake. All right. Meanwhile, a lockdown lifted tonight at Cincinnati State's campus after a man was found dead in a crashed car nearby. And now police are searching for any witnesses. Reporter Larry Siebert is live along Central Parkway. Larry, what do we know about this victim? His name is Malcolm Metz. He was 29 years old, and though he crashed his car right here along Central Parkway this morning, where you see the shards of glass tonight, detectives are still trying to piece together who shot him, why, and where. Rolled up on a single vehicle into a tree. Their only 911 call parked paramedics and police on College Drive near someone's crashed car. It's like there's a and a man shot in the chest dying with no witnesses, no reports of gunfire. We have to go with, you know, what we see and what we know currently. Detectives scooped up spent shell casings and a gun found inside the car, hoping crime gun intelligence center traces lead to their shooter. Up the hill, Cincinnati State students picking up laptops and parking passes saw campus temporarily locked down. Police have no information connecting what happened to the college. It didn't phase me none, but it did shock me that to hear that about being here. First year nursing student Joyce Conkle feels relief, but with the city on the verge of its 53rd homicide this year. The community had to take some responsibility about some of these shootings that's happening. Outreach workers sound sick, tired, and anxious for a quick arrest. Back here live, if you have any information about the crash or about the shooting, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers tonight. Their number 513-352-3040, and that call is anonymous. We are live along Central Parkway tonight. Larry Seaver, WCPO 9 News. All right, Larry, thanks so much. And before